What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. After Sound here, bringing you some new content today regarding Step In, S T E P N. Now, this is a move to earn game, I guess, because the I listened to the AMA and they're calling it a game, but it sounds like actually, I guess it is. It's fitness gamified, and uh, I'm a big fan of the concept. I don't know if I'm a big fan of Step In just yet, but as you can see here. I got started. I wanted to dip my toe, dip my, my virtual sneaker covered toe into this world to see what all of the hype was. Now, the thing is the hype has gone and it, or the hype has come and then it is gone. So there's a, been a bit of a decline lately and I felt like it might be a good time to hop into this. Now, the the price of the sneakers are dropping dramatically. Just this past week, it seems like there was China FUD because there's always China FUD when it comes to crypto. And uh, and so, like I said, it just seemed like a good opportunity to get in. So I'm not an expert in this. I'm not telling anybody else to get in, but I wanted to create at least one video to let you guys know that this is something that I'm exploring. And if you wanted me to do some content on it in the future, then I may just do that. So like I said, I'm diving into this world and wanted to share a couple of different things. I, I can even show you here. I see I have the, the white paper open and I've just I've literally just been reading through all of the different earning mechanics, how everything works, the tokenomics, and I'm still not fully educated. But I I like I said, the main reason for this video is to one, let you guys know and see if there's any folks in the step in community out there or any sorry, if there's any folks in this community that are also part of the step in community and so that we could connect. And also just for me to to kind of dive into why I think move to earn is really popular. Now, if you remember Pokemon Go from a couple of years ago, it blew up like crazy. And that was one of the first times that I think we got to see fitness somewhat gamified. And whether you liked Pokemon or not, and I knew many people at the time who didn't care about Pokemon but got sucked into the game because of the addictive nature, they always wanted to go out for walks, they always made a reason to, and it ended up being healthy, like a healthy kind of like alternative, right? If you're going to play a game, if you're going to do something, at least it's getting your butt off of the couch. Now, what makes stepping great is that now not only are you catching, you know, fake digital monsters, or you don't have to catch fake digital monsters, you can earn cryptocurrency and essentially trade that out for something else. You can put it back into the game, leveling up your shoes, leveling up your NFTs, or acquiring more sneakers, which again, I, I'm not I'm not gonna get into any of how all of it works right now because it's very complicated and I'm still learning, but there is this gamified element of getting an NFT, leveling it up, and uh, you know, therefore being able to earn more in the long run. So, you know, similar to all the folks on this channel who who watch um or who are here for Splinterlands, or uh, if, you, if you're coming from like the Axie Infinity side, I'm sure there's like a leveling up mechanic there too. This is something similar, but now it's fitness focused. And the only way that you can earn is by actually getting up, going outside. This does not work on a treadmill uh, or any kind of indoor space. So getting up, going outside and going for a walk. So I've had this for less than 24 hours and it's already gotten me to go out for walks three times, mostly to just test it out to see if, that, <laughs> if it was working. But I think I'll get into a good rhythm trying to earn something with it. Now, the thing is, uh, if we look over here, so this is Magic Eden. If you're familiar with like OpenSea for Ethereum, Magic Eden is like the OpenSea or, you know, huge, de uh, not decentralized, but huge NFT trading place or trading market for these shoes for these NFTs. So you can see here where the prices have gone. Obviously, Solana has dropped in value quite a bit from its all time high. And so, you know, I'm not saying that these are necessarily cheap, nor am I saying they won't go down further because right now, you know, we're, we're in a bear market. And for anybody who's been watching here, uh, talking either about Splinterlands or Rising Star and those asset prices depreciating, I mean, if you, if you look anywhere across crypto gaming, it's been a rough go and step in, even though it had a very recent kind of bum rush and price pump, uh, is now starting to feel that as well. Part of this, from what I'm hearing and what I'm gathering, is the fact that there, you know, there's way too many sneakers out there. And going back to the China FUD, there is some, uh, I guess, regulation in China that's shutting down a lot of the shoe farmers or sneaker farmers, I should say. 
and uh, therefore they are dumping all over the market. Sound familiar to my Splinterlands folks? Yeah, so I'm not saying, I, I have no idea what the future of this project holds. I don't know you know, the, the full details of it. I have started listening to the, the recent AMAs as well as trying to dig into, like I said, the white paper and as much uh, material online as I can. But if you wanted to get involved, then you could go to Magic Eden or you could actually buy a sneaker from inside the app. So the thing is, it's going to be tough for me to share stuff from within the app. Uh, I'll need to get like one of those phone app, uh, phone screen share things, <laughs> phone phone screen recording things for, for this. I end up doing content. But you can buy for probably a little bit cheaper in the app. So I would definitely recommend it looking there first because just earlier today, I saw some some sneakers going for like seven soul rather than 9.5. So if you are looking to get into it, make sure you check inside the app first. But regardless, there is a third party trading uh, or third party market here. Now there's two tokens when it comes to step in. There's GMT and GST. So for my Axie Infinity and Splinter Lens folks out there, GMT is your governance token and has a, uh, I, I believe a limited cap. Um, it doesn't say here, but on coin market cap, it was listing it as, oh no, here you go. Max supply is 6 billion. So GMT is similar to your AXS or SPS token. And there's still not much utility. Sound familiar, right? Sounds familiar. <laughs> uh, there's still not much utility, but there's a lot apparently in the works. And so that's something that I'll be following to see if it works. The, there's also the GST token. And uh, you can see here, there's two, one for BSC and one for Sol. I'm gonna go to the Solana one and then I'll explain what's happening with Binance Smart Chain in a second. So with the uh, with the GST, this is what you actually get paid out in. And right now, from my limited understanding, you get paid out every time you go for a walk or a run. And after you are done or after you, you've finished using your sneaker, um, it will have some kind of wear and tear on it. And then you can use the GST token, which you have earned, to repair it. Now, usually whenever, at least all the times that I've gone for, for walks or runs so far, there has been, uh, I've always earned more than what the repair ended up being. So it is a net positive. Um, you know, there's a ton of content creators out there talking about like the ROI and all this, but like even the stuff that I was, I was watching from like a week ago is outdated already because of the fact that, you know, the market's absolutely tanked. And if you look here, you can see something very familiar across a lot of games right now. But, you know, here was the pump in April. So again, very recently, and then the, the, the subsequent dump that followed. So can this go lower? Of course. Will it go lower? Probably. But that doesn't mean that it's necessarily a bad time to get in. Um, and again, for me, this is more so just exploring it. I'm not going in, you know, trying to buy tons of sneakers and be a sneaker lord, right? I, I just wanted to get one because I go for walks and runs every single day. As, as, as a creative, actually, I enjoy going for walks and um, it's it's just helps. It's, it's very therapeutic and meditative. Now, the thing is, I usually go and I don't like listen to anything. So um, this will be a distraction because I will want to be like earning something while I'm walking. So I'll be watching it closely, making sure I'm staying within the running ranges. But um, yeah, it's it's exciting to think about where and how this space could evolve. Will step and be the move to earn company of the future? Will they redefine fitness? I have no clue. And I, you know, it's, it's hard to say. It's one of those things where... Um, you know, they say the early bird gets the worm, but the second one that I like better is it's the second mouse that gets the cheese, right? So the, in this case, there's two scenarios. The early bird could get the worm, and I do believe in companies that are, you know, crypto, not crypto, but like native to the platform or native to the technology. And so when it comes to Web3, step in being built on a Web3 platform is exciting to me and could lead to them really taking all the market share early on if they can get it right. But like any other, you know, like any other situation, when there are competitors that come along and, you know, don't be fooled, there will be competitors that come along. They might be the second mouse that gets the cheese after the first one has failed, made a ton of mistakes that the second one comes in on and improves upon. So just something to keep in mind. Now, going back to the BSC, what they've done recently is they have launched on Binance Smart Chain as well. So there's two different tokens technically, and I guess the, the prices are trading uh, very differently right now. So you could technically be earning more on Binance Smart Chain because you can see this price is higher, but the sneakers on Binance 
cost more. The NFTs, in order to get started, cost more. So, you know, do your own research. This is something, like I said, for me, a video that I wanted to share with you guys just to be open and to let you know that I have gotten into it and that I'm checking it out. Um, the one thing that you will need and which, you know, kind of says why this is not really fully mainstream yet is the fact that, and maybe not even fully released, is the fact that there are activation codes required. So thankfully, somebody here from this community had joined, was raving about it and uh, gave me an activation code when it became available. Um, and so I... I, I figured I would hop in and see what it's all about. But you can join the Discord. You can go on Reddit. Uh, there's a ton of content creators giving out codes. I have not received one yet, but if I do, I'd be more than happy to give it out to you guys. Again, there's no like benefit for me. It's not like a referral or anything. It's just I have a code sitting here, and if somebody wants to join, I might as well give them a code. So if you are interested, then just let me know in the comments below. And uh, again, there's, I'm not fishing for comments. I just want to know if people are interested, one, in content related to step in and two um, if you would want a uh, if you would want a, an activation code if and when I get one so let me know either way we can be in touch and like I said that's that's all I really have for this video I'll dig a little bit further and hopefully educate myself a little bit more so that I can at least talk to people whether it's in the comments or whether it's on discord or Twitter or whatever the case is but I wanted to share this with you I hope you have an amazing rest of your day I will see you all in the next video and I will maybe see you walking outside in the game. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Take care.